One of the things I like about your performance is connecting, you know, the past with uh, the today. History, yeah. um, you mentioned on your um, on your CD, uh, uh, Mr. Siegler. Yes. Who uh, Siegler. played for Dinah Washington? Right. And she was a Chicagoan. She was a Chicagoan, and she loved Chicago. Jimmy played with her for the last three years of her life, and he has told me some wonderful stories about I'm Jimmy Sigler, and I'm a composer. Many, many artists you may have heard of, Patti LaBelle, the OJs, Phyllis Hyman, uh, Curtis Mayfield. Many people. <laughs> I'm working at a club in, in, in uh, Harlem called Count Basie's. I got to meet Donna Washington. And uh, I was surprised to find one day she had talked to the club owner and uh, bought my contract. The next thing I found out, I was on the plane going to Las Vegas with her. And I worked with her un up until the time she died. And I loved every minute. This is an original song, um, the one that we're about to do. It is uh, one that's really near and dear to my heart because it was written for me by my former mentor, Mr. Jimmy Sigler, who was Dinah Washington's last accompanist before she died. I was so honored to have had him be my accompanist for 14 years, and my CD was his last recording. So this song is I'll Be So Glad. I'll be so glad when this man is out of my In your live show, Sounds of Sakia, right. performance, and people went crazy. Right. And I want to know if that happens every time where the women go berserk when you sing, Why Wild Women, women Never, never get, get the Blues. blues. Well, not anymore, <laughs> which is actually the title track of my CD. Yeah. Um, and I, I added the tag, Well, Not Anymore, because it talks about how difficult it, ha it is for women sometimes, but how we have to muscle up. That we um, claim our power and sing our songs and tell our stories in the right way. Are you surprised at the response to that? The women in Sakia, I mean, when you first got that line out, right, right, right. they all kind of jumped up and right. celebrated the line. I know what you, you know? mean, girl. Yeah, that's, yeah, it, yeah. That's, it's like that. Yeah. And it's wonderful because I get that all over the world. Oh, talk about the history of the blues. Yeah. Let's warm them up a bit. Yeah. Ow. Oh. Come on with it, Michael. Come on.
about their funky men, about their cheating husbands and their no good friends. These poor women sit around all day and moan. I wonder why. They wonder why their husbands don't come home. But wild women, we don't worry. Wild women never get the blues. When my man starts to kick it, I tell him to grind himself another ho 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 I've never been known to treat no one man right. Ow! Oh, I keep on working hard. Yes, I do. Both day and night. Cause wild women, we don't. The blues. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah. So, this is how I would describe a wild woman. First of all, she is fabulous, intelligent, sexy, sassy, sexy, powerful. She knows who she is and doesn't take anything off of anybody. Ow! Ow! Do I have any wild women in the audience? being an angry child. Oh, quit your moaning, honey. Come on up here and get real wild. I'm gonna tell you something. You know I don't have to lie. Wild women are the only ones who ever get by. Cause why? the blue.